Welcome everybody, welcome back to this Valentine's reading for today. I will be using the Wisdom of Oracle and the Witches Tarot for this Valentine reading. I hope you are doing great. Thank you for returning to my channel. Thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing to the channel. I really appreciate all the love and support that you are giving to me. Um, thank you for supporting and uh, getting my channel stronger. All the new... Um, People, be welcome. Look if this resonates. It is a general collective reading, so take what does and leave what doesn't. But it helps when you subscribe to the channel, because then you are energetically connected with my channel. And I'm a channeler, so sooner or later I will be picking up on your energy as well. And the readings will resonate more and more with um, you. First, I'm going to start by channeling. So what are the most important messages for uh, my uh, lovely um, people, for the collective on this Valentine's Day, the 14th of February, Valentine's Day. So it will be a love message. I see a broken heart. So maybe somebody will reach out that hurt you. Yes, I hear confirmation. They want to mend things with you. Can be that they will, uh, uh, will communicate somehow, some way. For most of you, this will be a telephone call, I hear. And I think you will be in shock because... Um, you don't expect this person to to be contacting you you also do not expect this person to um, to wanting to mend with you and uh, can be that they even are going to be apologizing for whatever they did I think they want to um, have a new stable beginning with you guys. I see the color red and it's not the color red because it is Valentine's Day, but it is the color of the base chakra. So I think that um, they want to come in and... Um, clear away all the insecurities they want you to feel uh, trust in this connection so they are going to be trustworthy they are going to put in effort in this connection and um, it is a new approach of them but i think that um, they are they have t uh, thought about it and they have some realizations concerning this connection and I think that uh, they got wiser and that's why they want to put in this work. So it can be that um, you will see a whole new person. What do we need to know um, about this person and what they are going to do surrounding Valentine's Day? They want to be loyal to you. They know that you were always loyal to them, that you put in effort. And I think that uh, they now realize that it is time for them to put in the work and to um, gain your trust and um, give you the freedom and the support and also the time that you need because there is a lot that happened between you guys and I think that um, You need um, 
you need a lot of um, signs before you are going to trust them again. That's what I'm feeling. What else? They will put in the effort and you will see this change within them. This is a, a bird with uh, a mistletoe, an olive branch, uh, as you wish. And uh, I feel that uh, they want to uh, mend with you. Number five, they want to change. They want to um, put in the effort and they hope that eventually you will uh, be um, ready for this connection. They want to clear up the air, they want uh, you to believe them, they want to show their true selves uh, to you and uh, I think that um, I think you need more time before you decide if you let them back in or not. I think you already gave up on this connection. I have no place like home, so I think that they want you to feel um, supported, loved, um, trusted in this connection. And uh, before, um, it was one-sided, I feel, but now they are prepared to change that. What uh, do we need to know uh, more about uh, this person that is coming in during or maybe a little after Valentine's Day? They got some clarity. This is also the Virgo card. So this person... Um, is now seeing this connection clearly for what it is that you have a special bond and that they are prepared to work on it put in the work and no longer uh, choosing others or situations over this connection and they are prepared to be loyal to you they want to mend they want to uh, put in the effort equal give and take um, can be that they have two children, but I'm not certain of that, that it is a general reading. So for some of you, it is, and for others, um, it is not. They want to mend and they want to show you that um, they are in deep regret how they have treated you that they um, have worked on themselves and they are not only promising but they are also showing you that you can trust them, that they are worthy of you. They see you as their empress, so a divine counterpart, somebody who is very loving and they also know that um, that they, made the, that they made the biggest mistake of their life by um, treating you like crap, only wanting you to uh, have a passionate uh, one night stand. They now realize that they were playing games with the Empress and um, they have learned their lesson. They want to build a home with you and they hope that you will accept this offer that they are going to make. Below the deck I have here uh, the, the King of Swords. So it can be that you are dealing with a, uh, a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. This person is going to communicate with you and um, they will show you their insecurities they were going they are going to tell you uh, why they uh, acted like they did they will give you clarity 
but they are also prepared to put in the work and to um, repair the damage that they did. And below this deck, I have a TikTok, so uh, they will come soon in. I think that if uh, there was somebody else in the picture with number three, they are leaving this person because they know your word now and uh, putting in the effort, like I said, and uh, hoping that you will grant this opportunity uh, to them and they hope that they are not too late. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Namaste.